It took asking at every single sale. It's we, not old. We have about, like PS2 stuff. So. What about the little Game Boy? It's not what it's called, but. This was an amazing purchase. I didn't realize how great it was at the time. Welcome to garage sale season, baby. I think you guys can see it. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah, this one. Is Made me a good deal on this one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm riding solo today. Does Thane help me get more and better deals? Let's find out today. All right, guys. So I'm at the first neighborhood sale. Struck out at the first two sales, but just hit at the third. I said I wasn't really gonna buy them this year unless they're Sony or a really nice brand and in great condition with manual and remote. And they're recorders. So picked up a DVD VHS recorder, Sony brand for $1. If it works, probably worth at least 80, maybe more. Pretty nice score, let's keep going. All right, been to seven or eight more sales. Hadn't really scored, but finally got a few things. I'm pretty excited, $24. And this Vimu robot is sealed and actually worth about a hundred bucks. So that surprised me. And then I paid two bucks a piece for the game. So 20 and four, potential value maybe 120. So great score. All right, just picked up this video game bundle for a hundred bucks. So it's got two guitars, two Wii's, a little bit of wear, but there's two Wave Birds, some okay games. Apparently somebody cleared out all the Mario's for GameCube earlier. So there's definite competition. Still made a good play on the rest of it and then got the Legos for 10. All right guys, so competition is definitely fierce in this area. I've been to about 20 sales. Four or five of them have already said I'm like the third person to ask for video games. Just asked here and they said they just sold a whole Nintendo set. Uh, and then at the one I got the video game bundle, I mentioned somebody actually got a bunch of Mario's for GameCube for five bucks a piece, five minutes before I got there. So shout out to Luke, he's actually a local guy. Uh, saw him at the sales, uh, really nice guy. And he, he mentioned to me that he walked up and, and saw those getting pulled away. So hey, it happens. I still was able to get a good deal. Got a bundle with two Waybirds and two Guitar Heroes plus a bunch of games and two Wii's for a hundred bucks. Like potential value there is probably 250 to 300. The Waybirds get the money back if they work. Sometimes people leave some really good scraps. In that case, they did. But I think I need to head to a different neighborhood. So it seems like most of the competition came to this one. There's four or five others. I'm gonna hightail it over and we'll see what happens. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. She's in charge. <laughs> right in charge. Got any video game stuff? Uh, unfortunately, we don't. No, okay. No. no Wii or DS or PlayStation. <laughs> that. How about sports cards or Pokemon cards? Um, <laughs> I got a lot of sports cards. I haven't pulled anything out, but I can always pull them, and you're welcome to check them out. Yeah, I'd love to at least take a look, make I'm an offer. Selling them on eBay, so. Okay. Give me a second, and I'll grab some. Okay. Cool. You're welcome to take your any of these that you want. I just had a couple boxes here. Okay. I don't really have prices on any of them, but if you're knowledgeable, you'll know. Kind of the right Pick out a few. Yeah, for sure. Uh, most of them, actually, it's a little bit of everything. Okay. So, some of them are organized. Um, it's probably mostly basketball, but there's some baseball stuff in here, too. Nice. There's probably some football stuff. Okay. So check it out. If you see anything you like, you can make an offer on it. Any LeBron or Kobe stuff? Um, I think these are all Kobe. Okay. Cool. And I think I had I had one stack of all LeBrons. Those might be inside still. Uh -huh. Okay. Check those out. I'll go look and see if I have any more. Cool. But if you see some, I kind of know what the right price is. But yeah. I'm for sure. How about this uh, Chris Paul? 
that that rookie this, one? Yeah, or? regular tops rookie. Ten bucks. It seems pretty good. I know he's had a decent season, so I don't know if they've gone up or down or what. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is from your eBay stack. Um, yeah, most of that's pretty much on eBay. I don't know if I piece it out, I can get quite a bit for them. I can narrow it down to like four or five cards if you want to go that route. Yeah, if you want it all, it would be 400 bucks. Okay. Because I, I, I can probably get close to a thousand if I piece them out and sell them. Right. And then I guess, let me know, that's a smaller stack there. That wasn't eBay. Yeah. How about just these ones here. Okay, you, said, you said 75 on this set. Uh, yeah. Do 150 together? I could do 180 for all this. How about 160? I got cash. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. These were your eBay. I'll leave those with you so you don't get them Thank you. mixed up. I know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so I finally got a good score on an ask. I had to shuffle through and pick out some of the best cards, but 160 bucks is what we came to. He knew what he had, but there's three or two Kobe rookies, a LeBron, nice rookie, Chris Paul rookie, a few more LeBron, low end rookies, Chris Paul. So 160 bucks. We'll go through and maybe see a potential value when we get home. I know this is probably the best card of the bunch, but I'm pretty stoked. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good. You guys got any old video game stuff? Nintendo, um, PlayStation, Game Boy. We do actually. We do have. We have. It's we, not old. We have about, like PS2 stuff. So. What about the little Game Boy? It's not what it's called. But. DS, 3DS. Yeah, all, the only old stuff, and I thought about bringing it. It's PS2 is the oldest. I mean, I like that too. Systems, I mean, look, games. We don't play it. It sounds fair. Yeah. The kids don't play it. Anymore. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I look for. So, okay. I'll stick around. System itself, too, yeah, 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 systems, controllers. Oh, we've got a down blanket. I'll bring the system up. Okay, cool. There was some, I, that's not what I was thinking of. Really? I was thinking of, maybe that's what he's going to get now, but uh, I'm not the gamer, so I don't know what they're called, but they're the little, like, like a PSP, PlayStation Portable? Because <laughs> I, I mean, I'm into all the handheld stuff too, so. He said he's going to get the PlayStation 2 system. I don't know where any of the handheld games are. It sounds good. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Awesome. Sweet, yeah. Did you know how much you might want for that bundle? I for all of it, I, I don't know. What do you think? I I don't really. I have zero clue. Yeah. I assume it probably still works. It's just been sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The last time, I mean, it, it worked the last time I plugged it in. So. Okay. And if it doesn't work, I mean, we're open tomorrow too. If you want yeah, to I mean, it in and bring it back, I'd be happy to take okay. it back. So. Looks yeah. like you found something. Oh yeah. Two DS. That's what they were. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Let's take a look at those as we well. We have to ask him on price. Okay. And then a couple games, games with them. That one's in there. So now there's a couple oh, DS systems. Yeah. Um, yep. I'm interested in everything. Oh, in all of it? Okay. Yeah. Driveway. Um, that's perfect. Yeah, I have yeah. yeah, good time. Yeah, thank you. See you guys. Yeah. Looks like there's no there. chargers for them, but. Yeah, I, we probably have chargers somewhere downstairs oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> same bucket, maybe. Okay, I can go look. If you have anything else, too, while you're down there, you, any okay. gaming or Pokemon cards, I do like to. Yes, any gaming stuff. <laughs> all kinds, huh? Yeah, all kinds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, uh, probably nothing that I'm selling. I there's like a hand saw. Yeah, I'm gonna do those oh. too. So here's the deal with Pokemon cards. Uh huh. We have them. No, yes, yeah, tons of them, but, but I don't. We, and cards up the wazoo, but we would yeah. need our son uh -huh. to have an input because they're his. For sure. So if you are don't have plans tomorrow, we're gonna be doing this tomorrow. Yeah. And we can yeah, he has he has a ton tonight. and he doesn't know what he has either. So. I mean, okay. Overwhelming yeah, I could leave my number too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just the bin of cords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do see one right on top. You do? Yep. This guy right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. If I got one, I can work both of them, so. Oh, okay. That is perfect. Do you know if they're like newer ones or older ones or a mixture? Well, he's 10. He hasn't bought, we haven't bought any in the past. Year or so. Okay, so somewhat so, modern, but not yeah, like within the last so he's five years. Been collecting, yeah, I'd say that. Okay. He, he does have some older, older ones, I think, but mm -hmm. nothing. I mean, no, I think the only thing good he has is like the DS, DX, the, or the EX ones and uh -huh. some yep. stuff like that. Like, okay. I've looked up some cards online from him. He has some like twenty, thirty dollar cards. Sure. Yeah. Not any. Uh, Crazy the crazy. super crazy Charizard something. Yeah, I will do that. I appreciate you guys grabbing it. Yep. That's awesome. Thank there you. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Just yeah. still some of the games. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Have a good one. Yeah, you yeah, too. Yeah, I don't, probably a lot of the stuff you'd be looking for, he doesn't have any of the old. It's, yeah. I mean, he's 10, he's been collected probably for three four years okay so. yeah so i look i look mostly for the older like yeah. from my childhood yeah. stuff oh, yeah, yeah exactly no. yeah no he doesn't he might have a handful of them that he's been given over the right years, but okay you have to look through 800 cards to sure sure one <laughs> right two, so. now how about sports cards you don't have any he so i have all of them from my childhood that i've passed we have okay we have tubs and tubs and tubs. yeah I, I was huge collector when i was sure. younger sure so i have tons and tons of those i have like probably four or five bins full okay. of cards. Yep. So we do have those. Do you want me to take your number down? And yeah, we get for sure. Yeah, that market went insane. The yeah, market. and I'm up on it, so I'll pay fair if you got yeah. good stuff. So, okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I Bye appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, have a good one. Thanks. Thank All right, it's been a while since I've scored, but just paid 60 for a whole batch of kind of large jumbo Star Wars figures. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how this pans out. We'll have to look them up when we get home. $2 no holla. All right, guys, so this day has been okay. Like it's one of those days where the competition was fierce in the beginning. I parted ways, separated to a different area that I didn't think they would come to. I was right. And I actually got two successful asks in this neighborhood. So I got those uh, sports cards and I got the PS2 bundle and the two DS lights. So those could have been huge scores if they had the right stuff. So I definitely am happy, you know, with making the switch coming over here um, but there's another neighborhood even further out that's having a sale. I think the competition is going to be even less. It's around lunchtime. It's 1035. I've been to probably 50 or 60 sales today and scored at maybe seven at the most. So just want to clarify, a lot of people think that we only ever get scores. Um, but I do want to just show that I've been out. I left at seven. It's 1035 now. So I've been going for three and a half hours. You know, just had an, an okay day. I definitely am thankful for the scores I've had, but it hasn't been jackpots everywhere. And it's taken a lot of work. It's taken hustle. It's taken grind. It's taken asking at every single sale. Yeah. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to grab lunch. And then round two will be coming up right after this. How's it going? Hi there. How are you? Good.
you guys make a bundle deal on all the gaming stuff? Um, or is it? For the I know that unit over there with all the games and stuff. So this one right mm -hmm. here with the controllers, all the games, and the guitar, they said 150 Okay. For all of that. So that's somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe or, it. For the DS's, yes. Oh, I don't, yeah, the gotcha. DS's are somebody else. Gotcha. The games are a dollar each with this one, and the system's 25 Is that... Yeah, on that one, I think the red one's different, though. Okay. Um, Cheryl wrote it down in the notebook. She did? Mm hmm For this one. Uh, there's a minimum. One of them, I think. Uh, the black one, 35. Red one, 25. Lowest price. Okay. 25 and 35, so that's 60. Yeah. Okay. I'll take those for that. Both of those? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Be in, okay, so yeah. I'll take 16. Okay. Any other gaming stuff at all? I think just that right there is the end of it. Okay. Yeah. I'll look a little closer at that. Do you know if the guitar has the dongle or the receiver to plug into the Go system? For me, please. <laughs> Hang on and I will get you the information. Game <laughs> all right. <laughs> about the guitar yeah i'm wondering if uh if you have the receiver like the usb thing that plugs into the system uh, for I this ha i have to go look okay now I'll, I'll just pay for these for those? i'll just give you 50 bucks a piece it's a really good deal so are you sure yeah yeah like i'm pretty thrilled to find them so okay all right well they'll be very happy with <laughs> yeah that. they can get a Thank little you. bonus moran boys are gonna be some happy little <laughs> that's awesome Thank you so much. Absolutely. Remind me what you said on the PS3 stuff. Um, 150 for the whole set. 150 for the whole set. Is that with or without these two random games? Um, I think it's without. Okay. Yeah, it, I think those are first. They have tags on them. Yeah. Yeah, those TC are and G, Okay, okay. Any chance it could be like 120 on this set? I don't know. Don't go that low. Yeah. We got quite a bit going here. Yeah, these are other people and that one okay. was supposed to be changed because it was way too much okay so yeah these are other people's so gotcha i think you could why does it say jh um, oh it's a t it's a t yeah. for trenton my bad they just make their t real, real <laughs> right. um you want the guitar if it doesn't have the dongle to it he found so, it here so he oh he did yeah so that oh. if it didn't if it didn't have that i wouldn't even Consider it, but since you found that, I don't know. And they're at a funeral right now, so I really can't oh, ask. Is the problem? Yeah, for sure. Otherwise, I would totally ask. Okay, um, but I assume it all works. Oh, absolutely! They, it, they literally just unplugged it and brought it out here because. Okay. All right, guys. Let me answer the question I asked in the beginning. Would I have done better or made more money if the shameless negotiator Thane was here? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure I would have gotten some deals a little bit lower, and. I actually tipped him on the 3DS XL scores. Best score of the day, 12.28 in the afternoon on the table. I can't believe it. They must have just put them out. New 3DS XLs with a ton of games in their little cases. They they would have taken 60. I ended up just giving them 100 and say, you know, let the kids buy something for themselves beyond that. And then I also got the PS3 bundle for 150. So we'll go through everything at home, but I am very excited about that score. All right guys, so there's been a dry spell since I hit those 3DS's and the PlayStation. I've had a lot of interesting conversations in this neighborhood, probably about 15 sales since that one, asking at every sale. Just talked to an older guy who said he has baseball cards from his childhood from the 50s and 60s. I really tried to get him to bring them out, but he didn't quite know where they were and thought he might want to look into research and stuff before he sells. But, you know, as always, I tell people I pay fair. You know, I'll tell them what it's worth and I'll pay them half of the actual value so i've left a lot of business cards gotten a few numbers and might have some callbacks from the day i tell you what though i ask at every sale leave cards and maybe 20 percent of the sales have something it's usually their kids and they can't bring it out otherwise i leave a card and about maybe five to ten percent of the cards i leave actually hit so of the 20 percent about 10 percent hit I think that's pretty normal. Uh, it does increase your odds a little bit to get business cards, maybe from five to 10% on average. So I, I definitely recommend getting them. You can get them cheap, get a thousand of them for 
really small amount of money. So it's well worth it. Um, but yeah, just, just thought I would update you guys. It's been a little bit of a slower day, 1.15 in the afternoon. Uh, gonna wrap it up pretty soon here. Got a few more in this neighborhood up ahead. After that, I'll do a full pickup downstairs. All right guys, so I am back home. I have the full haul from the day. Went sailing from seven to two. So definitely got in some hours. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the day. A big variety of stuff. So here's some of it. Also got some on the ground. And then some back here. So we're gonna go everything in detail. Um, one of the scores, these Star Wars figures. $60. They were marked at $75. They wouldn't negotiate much, but they are new. So you got the 31 inch clone trooper and Kylo Ren. There's the bigger Yoda. That one actually gets the $60 back. It sells for about 70 plus shipping. And then the others are just kind of wild cards. But we'll value the lot maybe at 150. And I'm actually going to add up all of the values as we go. So I paid $679 all in. I just finished filling out my receipt book. Again, link to that is in the description if you're interested in keeping books for garage sales. And then this bundle paid $100. Uh, apparently all the Mario games were here for GameCube, but somebody was there five minutes before me. So that's pretty heartbreaking, but sometimes you just gotta clean up somebody else's mess. I don't know why people don't just take everything in that case. I certainly would just make an offer on the whole bundle. So you got Guitar Hero, Metal Guitar Hero Metallica, Guitar Hero 5. Uh, those are decent. There's a couple other random GameCube games. Uh, nothing big, but there's two Waybirds, which I only knew there might be Waybirds because there were two receivers in here, and they weren't originally, the Waybirds were not originally in the box. So I asked, and he went inside and found them. And I asked a bunch of times to see if he had more games. Unfortunately, he did not. He was cleaned out. But still, $100 for this lot, not bad. Unfortunately, Minecraft is not in there, but... I'd still value this lot, and it also included the two guitars. Still valued around 300 bucks. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add 300 to our total. Um, and th that's, you know, some people wonder how could you get that? Well, that's Amazon prices, but these bundles, you know, Waybirds, 50 bucks a piece. The guitars, probably at least 50 bucks a piece, and very well, maybe more, uh, especially bundled with their Guitar Hero 5. And then the systems, you know, 50 bucks a piece on those, so I'm being really conservative actually uh, on 300 for the value. All right, next up, let's go with the PS2 and the DS bundle. So this was on an ask. Took them a while to find it and everything. Unfortunately, nothing spectacular in games. The best game being New Super Mario Bros. for DS. And then some PS2 games. The PS2, it does have two controllers back there. And then the two DS is a little bit aware, but I think they will clean up pretty nice, good hinges. So paid 60 on that value, we'll call it probably 160 conservatively, as long as things work. All right, so we almost got our, our initial investment back of 679. And then these cards, I, <laughs> I am very excited about this. This was an amazing purchase. I didn't realize how great it was at the time, but you know, rookie card LeBron, $100. Uh, second year tops LeBron, probably another $80. And then a couple Kobe rookies, 40 bucks a piece. Chris Paul rookie, 30. Tim Duncan rookie, 30. And then there's some LeBron's diary cards, which are rookies, but just really low end rookies. So that lot actually ended up being worth about $400. And I paid 160. Now this guy was an eBay seller. He was pretty familiar with prices. A lot of this stuff he actually had listed on eBay but I was able to make a cash offer. I picked out some, had a bigger pile to start, whittled it down because he just seemed to want a little bit too much. He was one of those guys that works a little bit better in bite-sized chunks. So he was at like 195, I counted with 150, we ended at 160. Stoked about that deal. Kind of wish I would have got the guy's information because I'd like to make more deals. Uh, and I know that's one of those, if Thane was there, we probably would have walked out with more. So Thane, the famous negotiator, definitely would have come through on that one. And then my favorite sale of the day uh, included this PS3 bundle. Uh, they were not negotiable beyond 150. So at first I was like, ah, it's just too much. The guitar that they had didn't have the dongle. I asked if they could find it and they did. So that made the difference. 
So this guitar with the dongle and then bundled with the Guitar Hero 3 will probably get the 150 bucks back, which is insane. And then the rest of the bundle, another easy 150, so we will consider it 300 in value. And again, these numbers are conservative. I'm leaving in a little room for maybe one or two of the systems not to work. Um, I always kind of like to do that in my estimates for value. Okay, then this Sony DVD player, $1. We're just gonna call it a super conservative 50. It is a VHS uh, to DVD recorder. So those can definitely hold value. I don't like to buy them unless they have everything with them. And then this stack of stuff, $27 is what I paid. You may not have seen all of it. I got some of these DS games. They're all super clean and complete. Uh, there's a Tekken 4 for PS2, a Casio Boss, and then the Jimu Robot. The price I quoted earlier for that, I realized was definitely an Amazon inflation. Um, so we're going to value that entire bundle more around $80. Uh, if I get the Amazon inflation on the robot, the value of the lot will be maybe more like $150. But uh, for the sake of being conservative, we'll call it $80. And then this 3DS bundle, I have not gone through both of them fully, and I will go through those next. All right, guys, so the score of the day, definitely <laughs> these. I can't believe it. They must have brought them out right before I walked up because it was 12.30 in the afternoon and these were on the table. Um, pretty clearly could tell they were kids' systems, 25 and 40. And I opened it up and just, I think you guys saw me going through this one, but I haven't been through this one. And there's games in both of them. Pulled it out. This is the new 3DS XL. I was shocked because these things are just, I mean, they're amazing, but they're, the value is also amazing on them. And then the games that said $1 each, I'm like, this is what dreams are made of. 25 for the system, just absolutely insane. You guys may have saw, they actually were willing to take 60. They didn't get it. They got 100, so I was like, yeah, this deal is amazing. You can have 50 bucks a piece for these. I'm still gonna be thrilled with that. So I gave them an extra 40 bucks and those kids are gonna be pretty happy. They weren't there, but I'm sure they'll be happy to find out they got more than what they were asking. Okay, but the games, guys, the games. Are you kidding me? Pokemon Diamond, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, Pokemon Moon. Those are the names you wanna hear, Mario and Pokemon, Zelda being another one, Mario and Sonic, Rio 2016, one of the better ones, Yokai Watch 2, Bony Spirits, Yokai Watch the first one, Smash Bros, gotta love it, Pokemon Omega Ruby, torn label but still, Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, I'm going to guess maybe Alpha Sapphire on that one, but we'll have to see what that is. Mario Party, Star Rush. Like, just an insane stack of games. Another mystery game, faceless game. Pokemon Ultra Moon. And that was it for that one. So $50 for that bundle. That is insane. And there was another one. <laughs> like... This was, this was just bonkers. So there's the red new 3DS XL. Um, definitely some wear. This one kind of has the same wear. I mean, you can tell they were owned by kids. Hopefully they still work. But, I mean, the games. <laughs> I haven't seen what's inside of here, so let's check it out. Mario 3D Land. Not bad. Captain Toad. Another Yokai Watch. Lego Batman 3. Uh, Torn Label Mario Kart 7, Mario Maker 3DS, Pokemon Sun, and Pokemon Rumble Blast. So similar quality and taste. Looks like we've got a micro SD 4 gigabyte there. Insane bundles, $50 a piece. You gotta love garage sales. But that was my day. So potential value on those. Let me get that added up. It's pretty high. Um, we'll call it, let's just call it 500 bucks. Uh, that assumes the systems are working, but this one currently is on. So let's see if it's, yeah, I mean, it, it's reset. So I think it's a fair assumption. Even in an acceptable condition, I can probably get 200 a piece for the systems. Saying it's worth 500 for everything is probably way too low, but we're gonna call it that. Hey, let's call it, let's call it 560. Just to make a nice round number of $2,000 in potential value 
minus the 679 buy cost is 1,321 in potential profit. More than a triple up. You gotta love garage sale margins. But that's it, guys. It took a lot of work. It took hustle. It took asking at every single sale. It took going out for hours. It took getting there well before the sale starts. It took a lot. Uh, a lot of times people think that I just go to 10 sales, score 10 times, I'm only out an hour and bring home a haul like this, but that is not even close to, to the reality. Probably went to 80 sales today, scored at 10 of them, drove over 100 miles. Like This was a lot of work, but it was well worth it, and I am thankful and blessed to be able to do this for a living. $679 in, $2,000 out. That's gonna be it for this one. Please hit that like button if you made it this far. Let me know what your favorite find of the day was and we will see you guys next time. Peace.